taking over the game one step at a time everybody has these dreams of being first in line it may take a little while before we reach the light we just gotta take what we Thanksgiving is the last theatrical horror film to be released in 2023. This film was directed by Eli Roth and is about a killer pilgrim. That's basically all you need to know. This film was based off of the fake movie trailer that was made for Grindhouse, the double feature of Death Proof and Planet Terror, directed by Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez. And I guess Eli Roth one day was just sitting at his house thinking of different ideas for horror films until he thought, hey, how about I actually take that fake movie trailer I did and turn it into a real movie? And that's exactly what he did. Now, I've always been a fan of Eli Roth. I am not a fan of all of his movies. I think he has a very unique style, and I like the fact that he continues to do the old 1970s exploitation style that he's done with a lot of films like his Hostel films, um, you know, The Green Inferno, which wasn't great. But he's a director that I've always respected, even if his movies don't come off as great as they could have. I've always really respected this guy, and when I saw that he was actually doing a Thanksgiving-themed horror film, I was actually pretty pumped. After the first trailer was released, I thought, okay, this looks promising, but I was going into this movie expecting just a very fun, violent, over-the-top horror film, and that's exactly what I got. Thanksgiving does exactly what it needs to do. It's not deep, it doesn't try to relay a message, it doesn't try to do anything else other than being an over-the-top, violent, gory horror film, and I applaud Eli Roth for doing that because this movie was a total blast. I was lucky enough to actually go to an early screening of this movie thanks to a very good friend of mine, Diana Breast, who gave me these early screening tickets. Shout out to you, Diana. Thank you so much. And I had such a blast with this movie, and so did the audience. I was in a packed crowd filled with press and other people that like won these tickets on the radio, and everybody was having such a good time. The movie does not waste any time when it comes to violence. It goes straight through the jugular within the first 10 minutes during this Black Friday sequence, which is fucking insane. And within the first 20 minutes, we get our first kill, and it is such a beautiful sight to see. Some of the kills in this movie are just flat out ridiculous and just make you go, okay, there is no way it would happen like that, but it's fucking great. The movie does have its typical slasher movie cliches. The characters in this movie are not really anything to write home about. They're not like insanely annoying characters, but... There's nothing about these characters. The main actress in this movie I thought did very good. There wasn't really a whole lot about her character other than she is grieving over the loss of her mother, which this is the fourth horror film of 2023 that I've seen where the main character has lost their mother. The Boogeyman, Talk to Me, The Exorcist Believer, and now fucking Thanksgiving. Horror movies in 2023 have been killing off mothers more than a Disney animated film. Like, what the fuck? The movie is also paced perfectly. There is not one dull moment in this movie. Every scene is heightened up to an 11, and honestly, that's exactly how it needed to be. As far as flaws go, there are certain points in this movie, specifically towards the third act, that don't make any sense, and eventually when you find out who the killer is, which of course, I'm not going to spoil, it wasn't like a mind-blowing reveal or anything. It was kind of just one of those things where I was like, oh, okay, but, after I found that out, I started to think about scenes that happened earlier where I was like, okay, if, that's, if that person is the killer, how did that person get over here very quickly? How was that character able to be over there at a specific time? And there are certain plot holes in this movie that kind of made me go, I don't really know about that, but... In general, Thanksgiving did exactly what it needed to do. It's just a very fun, over-the-top, violent, gory horror film that I had such a good time with. So if you guys were having a hard time finding out what movie you wanted to see this Friday and you weren't interested in watching Napoleon or the new Hunger Games movie and you just want to watch something a little bit more fun, definitely check out Thanksgiving. I think you'll enjoy yourselves. I'm going to give Thanksgiving a B. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching my reviews. Look forward to more coming soon, and I'll see you guys next time in the new video. Peace.